Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel, Deb Chanel's 48's World. I hope you all are having a lovely Friday evening. Yes, the weekend is upon us and we're going to be doing whatever we choose to be doing on these days. And if you're off on Martin Luther King, uh, holiday birthday, that's coming up on the 20th, such as myself. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. We got a long weekend ahead. So, of course, you know what I'll be doing, bamming out video after video after video. But I want to thank you for coming to Deb Chanel's 48's World. And if you don't know, I am Deb Chanel. And we got a really big pickle of a surprising story we got to air out on this YouTube channel of mine. Yes, Lord. Come on in the house. We're going to be talking about a little, we're going to just dab on religion a little bit. And this crystal, <laughs> come back here. This crystal type of usage, allegedly, that Portia Williams is involving herself in to kind of, how you call it, I wouldn't say it's holistic, but she's just bringing in every type of element so she can have a fabulous type of 2020 year, okay? And some of her fans ain't here for it. They talking about, are you dipping and dabbing in the witchcraft, Portia? Are you dipping and dabbing in the witchcraft, child? So, you will see throughout my video slide where I give you all different elements of crystals and how they're being used and what they're used for. And some people use it in pagan practice, practices, rituals, and stuff of that nature. And we all know those who believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It goes against every practice of believing in the true and one and only God. For myself, that's Jesus Christ. Okay, oh that this is Jesus Christ. He died on the cross and saved me from my sins. Okay, and I'm like, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, but other people have their own way of believing in, you know, whatever they want to believe in. And that's fine. But I wouldn't want to be them on Judgment Day. That's all I got to say. So we all know where I stand when it comes to religion. Um, y'all want to get out in the comments and tell me where y'all stand? That's fine. Okay, just be respectful. That's all I ask. But yeah, Portia is harnessing and believing in uh, the powers of crystals and this, that, and the third. And I'm like, well, Portia, you said that you was a Christian going around here. And you were an evangelist preaching the word of the Lord. Okay, so on the highways, byways, and pretty much everywhere. Okay. And uh, we do know that all of your power, all of your energies, all of your feel goods to go and do the worship of, you know what I'm saying, um, what do you call this, uh, the practices of saving souls, that's from God, right? Okay, but you're saying that you're using crystals and crystals are supposed to be doing all these things for you, then what do you need the Lord for then if you're solely looking at something that's a tangible item and you're putting all your faith in that to heal you to give you strength and all that what do you need the lord for Portia? is that a contradicting thing you're doing over there but let's not tear it too long let's go on and see what celebrity insider put out on her like i said all this is a legend we just coming to the house having a little drinks having a little food and just having a little conversation, okay? That's all we do over here at Deaf Chanel World. We don't punish nobody. We don't judge nobody. We just put opinions out there and viewpoints, and we just dialogue with one another, okay? That's all what we're doing over here. And you really can't even call it gossip, because we ain't really taking it and saying this is the true thing, and this, that, and the third, and that, and you take it for the, you know, the gossip. You know, meaning you take it for the truth of the matter. And that's not what we're doing over here. That's not what my platform is about. We're coming over here engaging with one another. And we just sitting talking. So let's get on into this insider story. Celebrity insider. Yes, it was written by Ron Collins. He's one of the correspondents over there. And one of the journalists. Elijah, come here. And, um... That's pretty much he gave us a headline of a story said, saying, um... Portia Williams shares her vision for 2020 and gets accused of witchery, okay? And if anybody don't know what witchery is, then, you know, that's practicing witch culture, occult, pagan, all that kind of stuff, okay? Get into it if you dare, okay? I'm not saying go and get into it. I'm saying if you want to find your edification, you want to find out more about it, I don't, you know, tend to even 
try to provoke or invoke or none of that stuff over here. So you got to do your own research. But my little uh, slideshows can give you reference of, you know, whatever you want to do if you want to go and look any further. But we're going to go on and get into this article. And it says, Portia, Wish Portia Williams shared her vision for this year. And she's taking or she's talking to her fans about self-love. Everybody got to understand about self-love. It's a good thing. It's a good thing to practice because if you can't love on yourself, who else are you going to love on? Okay. I'm just saying. If you don't have the love of the Lord, then how are you going to love anyway? Period. Okay. But anyway, it should have been taught to you in your formative years as an infant growing up. You should have had some type of loving and understanding of what love is from your parents. Okay. I'm just saying. But uh, it says, check out her motivational message below. Someone commented, you can't love someone the way you want to love them. You need to love them the way they want to be loved. And that was a com commenter. I don't know. All right. Then it says, uh, how you love yourself is how you teach others to love you. And that's a good statement. That's a good statement. Because if they show you showing love for yourself and others, they can't help but to fall in love with you. Because you ain't got nothing but goodness in your heart. That's what I'm talking about. But anyway, we go on into uh, the article. It says, another follower said, facts. It took me a little minute to learn this, but when I did listen, emoji hearts, okay? Someone else posted, sending you straight love, have a fantabulous 2020, you and baby girl. Portia also posted a photo featuring some crystals for motivation. And you can check these out below. And it goes on to say, do you all use crystals? That's what she's pretty much asking. If you go to her Instagram account on Portia For Real. Uh, yeah, she's asking you all, do y'all use crystals or practice crystals of healing powers or whatnot? She said, what's your fave? Um, and then she's thinking somebody at Vintage Vegan 2020. Uh, Portia captured her post and it's like crystals for motivation if you I guess Google, Google that you'll see the image of what she's saying then another follower responded yes pyrite I guess that's a gemstone is one of my favorites I've been using citrine citrine a lot okay one uh, one another Instagrammer said I love am am this am the am this Something like that. It's a stone of spiritual protection and purification. Cleansing one's energy field of negative influences and attachments. Okay. Someone else wrote, uh, hemite, uh, hem, hematite, wait a minute. <laughs> hematite, hematite, let's say it like that, for grounding. Black tourmaline for protection. Cenonite for cleansing. Centrine for business. And car carnaline for creativity. A lot of followers bash Portia for the post, okay? This must be the Christians coming in, all right? For instance, someone said, kind of witchy, don't you think? It's certainly not Christianity. And hashtag, what would Jesus do? I need a scripture for that. A follower, well, why don't we have scriptures for that? All right, now, I wrote them down, honey, because I want the people over at Deb Chanel's 40s world to be informed, okay? Now, if I give y'all information, you do what you want to do with it, okay? But it's biblical, and it's in the Bible for those who want to know about these crystals and these practices of using them in this, that, and the third. Okay, if you go to Revelations uh, chapter 21, verse 2 and 7 and 8, you will get some enlightenment. You go to Ezekiel. Uh, chapter 13, verse 18, and 20 and 21. Deuteronomy, chapter 18, verse 9 through 12. Okay, get your read on. That's all I got to say. All right, and then it says, um, a follower responded to all the haters with the following words. Crystals are not a religion for everyone trying to automatically dub our crystal users. Trust in God. Ah, then we're here. Let's say it again. Trust in God. Okay, but then we don't know what God you're serving, okay? I serve the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, okay? Christianity, the three trinity. All right, but hey, like the person said in this article, uh, trust God. Okay, crystals deal with energy, people. Everything in this world has energy. Now, that's a true statement because we're in nothing but a ball of energy stuck in this housing of a case of a body. Okay, we're all spirits. We're all energy, so I can't get with that. Okay, the same fan continued and said, even the things that are not moving, I say that to say we have seven main energy ports in our body. 
which are called chakras. Now, to me, chakras ain't nothing. And we're here looking at the sh chakra reverence. Or so if you go Google uh, chakra, you will see it has different many uh, levels of spirituality or uh, energy or vibrations or whatnot. Me, I tell you in a minute, don't open your third eye. Now, if the Lord open your third eye, that's a different thing. But that's on another whole level. You have no understanding in, and that's like evoking uh, spirits and stuff. And the crystals just add the piece of resistance. And don't get out there. And you be like flying solo and you ain't got no aircraft amongst you anymore. You just out there with the wheel trying to uh, hold the plane together. And you just, fly. it's almost like being high, being euphoric. And you living yourself open for, you know, different types of demonic uh, possessions or anything. Like, you, it's a scary, okay? I heard, I've seen, you know, on TV, of course. But I, I, don't, I don't try to get into none of them horror flicks too much because it messes with my spirituality. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, going back to the article, it says, um, you have several ports in our body called chakras. The energy in those ports need to be balanced through many things, and crystals are one of them. Crystals form from the earth that God created, and they retain different energies. Not too long ago, Portia made fans happen when she shared a photo of her and baby girl PJ. Okay, now that's all that was for the article. It was just like, uh, you know, I don't know, is um, Portia trying to use her platform to talk about other spiritualities uh, other than what she once came on the platform professing that she was you know believing in christianity and all that it entails so is she trying to merge the two i don't know because i know you can't merge you know evil with good you know what i'm saying you got to be one of the other you can't carry too long being straddled on the fence you got to either choose good or you got to choose bad now that's your edification of what you need to choose because i've already done said and i've told many people you know i am a christ lover I, I follow christ so it just is what it is you can't get into a debate with me about it it's nothing to debate you know what i'm saying you have your beliefs i have my beliefs but i thought it was very shocking that portia would come out and say one thing but lead down the road to another thing so i'm like portia Portia, Portia, is that's why we unstable? Is that's why we're doing here and there and this and that? That's the road you're traveling now because you you don't know which one. You kind of like tossy turvy out there, and you are having your good points and then you are having your bad points. You are having this man in your life that's cheating on you, that's you know feeding into all type of manifestations for the negative, and you want to hold on to that. Okay, now I can see why you're kind of easing off the straight and narrow path. So, it just is what it is. I thought it was very interesting to have Portia come out and talk about the healing powers of crystals. And like I said, don't get it twisted. I'm not damning anybody. I just know how I feel about them. And I put it out there for y'all to tell me how y'all feel about them. And what Portia is doing with tying herself up with these two different entities because they're definitely two one talks against the other okay even though you would have people say they're combined into one but like i said i could present a story to you one way and 50 more 511 people may come right after me and pitch the same storyline, but say it and view it in another whole different way. You see what I'm saying? So, y'all get down in the comments. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Is Portia on the witchy poo side as the article had derived that she's in? Or this is all a smoke screen? Okay, I just want to know. It's just, it, you know, it's just to have a uh, conversation, trying to see where Portia going with her life and how she's trying to pull us all in. But yes, Portia, I'm about to pass on that crystal healing type thing, honey. I love the crystals for their beauty, you know what I'm saying, and to, to adorn them sometimes, but not to, like, keep this and that and third way for me. No, I'm going to just say, hey, Lord, <laughs> help your child down here on this earth that you created. Yes, Lord, they trying to take my spirit, honey. They trying to keep me in the, 
that, you know, keep me in that bad thinking zone. They want me to erupt down here, but I won't. I'll tarry. I won't tarry too long, but I'll run this race until you call me home, Lord. Yes, yes. But, y'all, I want to say thank you for coming to Deb Chanel's 40s World. Again, y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about this story that Celebrity Insider put out for us to partake of. Ron Collins, thank you for a salacious story. Uh, interesting story, uh, uh, you know, um, where you were pitching it against, in a sense, evil versus good, witchcraft versus um, religion, and denouncing of certain practices when it comes to your religion. So, I'm, I'm like, okay, okay, that's a, that's, a, that's a new side, that's a new side, that's a new side. So, I don't know if we in DEFCON 3 with this, or we don't went straight to DEFCON 1, we finna fire up them comments or not. I don't know, but y'all let me know once I drop this video, okay? But anyway, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so at this time, okay? You like what I'm giving you? If you don't like what I'm giving you, hell, you might like one one video down the road sometime. You don't want to miss out. That's why I tell you, do the notifications. Make sure you click that button so you'll know when I drop something. Because it ain't about me. It ain't about you. It's about a subject I'm talking about, okay? And we talk and dwell in that particular subject, okay? But I'll see y'all next video. But remember to subscribe, share, and like my videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.